Food pantry is still reeling from the damage caused to its facility by a drunk driver. Kulawait News Now's Nick Doyle shows us how the pantry is picking up the pieces and how you can help. It's total disbelief when you walk in and there's a car in the middle of your walk-in. Says Tracy Rothman, the manager of the Dayton Food Pantry, who has been picking up the pieces after a drunk driver drove into the side of the pantry, destroying parts of the property in the walk-in freezers. So when I came Saturday night after the accident, the car was still firmly planted inside of our walk-in. Um, the fence was damaged. Uh, the sheriff's office were here as well as, you know, EMTs. And what I was told was the driver came through the fence at, I assume, a high rate of speed, but I don't know, um, hit the building, hit the planner, hit the build, you know, the walk-ins behind us. The food pantry serves 250 Dayton families a week. The walk-ins are where we would house all of our frozen proteins, our frozen vegetables, our frozen fruits. The refrigerator would house all of our eggs, our milk, our produce, um, which now that are substantially damaged, we can't use to store anything. Along with providing resources for people who are at risk of going hungry or without a job. I believe in making sure that everybody has food, every child, every senior citizen, every vet, vet um, and not having to be able to offer those items like we were before makes a huge difference to people. It's been over a month now since the accident and operations have been significantly impacted. It's very hard to come and see the damage and see the people that you give food to every week and the concern on their face of whether or not they're going to get a protein or they're going to have a head of cabbage or milk. The pantry has received help from local grocery stores and people of the community, like the Lions Club. Right now, we've just donated this freezer. There's so many families that uh, just can't afford uh, the cost of things today. Uh, it's not just here, it's everywhere, but uh, they fill a huge gap for these people, getting protein to them that they need. There has not been a distinct time frame on the repairs, but Rothman promises to continue serving the community. We'll continue to provide food to them, whatever that looks like week to week, um, that we aren't going to go anywhere and that we are here to stay and that nobody will go hungry if you walk through our door. You can help out on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the grocery outlet. The Lions Club is hosting a fill -a truck event to support the pantry. Reporting in Dayton, Nick Doyle, Colo 8 News Now.